Jin Sakai is a former samurai, our hero protagonist in Ghost of Tsushima. In the game, player controls Jin Sakai, a samurai on a quest to protect Tsushima Island during the first Mongol invasion of Japan. Ghost of Tsushima is one of the most beautiful video games ever produced. The game is a love letter to the samurai games and provokes a sense of profound meaning, emotions, and demands much reflection from gamers' experience. The principles for success in Jin's way of fighting, his unconventional combination of samurai and ghost skills, his superior combat strategies, technique, and swordsmanship are the same ways that lead to accomplishment in all other aspects of life. After completing this game, it made me want to pursue a deeper philosophical understanding of the way of the warrior. In this video, I seek to extract what I think are Jin's top 5 rules for life that we could learn from and apply to our everyday lives. Before we start, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy learning life philosophy from your favorite video game hero. Rule number 1. Become a master of strategy. At the beginning of the game, the Mongols under Khan launched a full-scale invasion of Tsushima in 1274. Jin is one of the 80 samurai who were sent in a desperate suicidal attack against the Mongols at Komoda Beach, aiming to slow the Mongol invasion force down before they reached the Japanese mainland. We've lost so many, we have to keep pushing Lord Sakai, even if it costs us our lives. During the battle, Jin was severely wounded and left for dead, while his uncle Shimura was captured and the rest of the samurai on the beach were brutally slaughtered. Jin was narrowly saved by the thief Yuna, who nursed him back to health and saved him from the Mongols. Following the battle, the Mongols took over most of the island, killing, torturing, and enslaving anyone who retaliated. Realizing that he cannot defeat the Mongols by himself or with the traditional samurai tactics, Jin opts to scour the island in search of allies and new fighting techniques in order to retake Castle Canada and rescue his uncle, Jin initially adhered to the Samurai Code of Honor like Shimura did and was very reluctant to adopt any dishonorable method of fighting the Mongols. But he learned the hard way and woke up after the Samurai's crushing defeat at Komoda Beach and almost died again being thrown off the bridge by Khan at Castle Canada. Realizing that the Mongols were using the samurai's rigid and predictable code of honor against Tsushima, Jin decided to start adopting unconventional strategies and ghost tactics to fight the Mongols and win by any means possible, however dishonorable. Samurai pride themselves on their honor code, but it also makes them rigid, predictable, easy to break. Ghost has no limits. This makes him dangerous. Under the tutelage of Lord Shimura and having read monumental military works like Sun Chu's Out of War, Jin is a master at finding ways to outmaneuver and weaken enemy armies with his war strategies and the help of people of Tsushima. By controlling the character Jin, we could also observe and learn from his strategic way of fighting the Mongols. Before attacking an enemy camp, Jin would always carefully observe and scout the area identifying the weaknesses of his enemy before choosing the most effective plan of attack. I can't do it alone, or without a plan of attack. And we know he's at Port Izmi, surrounded by an army. We need to know the weakness in their defense, how to get past them. During the assault of Castle Shimura, Shimura foolishly ordered a frontal charge on the bridge to the inner keep, which is demolished by Mongol explosives, costing many lives of the samurai. Catching the bridge on your uncle's orders. Lord Shimura is determined to see his plan through, no matter how many lives it costs. Realizing that Shimura's stubbornness on upholding honor will only bring more unnecessary bloodshed. Defying Shimura's plan, Jin executed a stealth infiltration, sneaked inside the castle, and poisoned the Mongols, ensuring an early victory. Is this how you want to be remembered? He defended us by spreading fear and chaos. We are at war, and you are acting like the enemy. At Jogaku Temple, Jin and Yuna lured the Mongols out of the temple onto a frozen lake before activating a set of explosive barrels to blow them up. The ghost is a master of striking fear against the enemy. 
He's highly unpredictable and utilizes the element of surprise to strike at the moment of critical opportunity. The storm is our key to beating him. When it comes, the Khan will have to shelter his fleet in the bay. That's when we strike. Seeing the sign of enemy's earliest hesitancy and weakness, he would enter ghost mode, charge relentlessly, and crush his enemy totally without giving them room to breathe and recover. Jin respects tradition, but is also willing to adapt his fighting style to guerrilla warfare for a better chance of winning. Your uncle was wrong. I can't make him understand. We'll die if we don't change. You are the only reason we've made it this far. And everyone knows it. Jin is not only a ghost, but also a great leader. He sees the bigger picture of the battlefield, changes of the times in the world. Instead of rigidly following the old ways of fighting, Jin makes full use of all weapons at his disposal in order to turn the tide of war. We have a Huacha. A weapon of the enemy, not samurai. Saving our people is all that matters. Poison has never been the Sakai way. No Sakai had to fight the Mongol Empire. I need every weapon we have. Tsushima can't afford anything less. The Mongols have changed you, young master. The world has changed. Jin believes in his followers completely. They may not be trained warriors, but I trust them with my life. Then I will do the same. He recognizes the unique strengths and gift of his fellow fighters, leading them strategically as a team to defeat the enemy. He demands the best of his friends and allies, and offers them full support and guidance to their path of becoming a warrior. I know you want to protect him, but you're holding him back. Taka's not a fighter. He could become one. The mindset required of the warrior is to relentlessly deliberate on strategy. Whether we are active or sitting down, with others or on our own, we must constantly reflect on this way. Anticipate how to never lose, work out the mind of others and make sure they cannot read yours, leaving nothing to the unexpected. The Khan expects to fight a war against the Samurai. He will anticipate our every move, unless we find new ways to surprise him. When you face adversity in midst of everyday battle, never forget to focus your mind on the principles of strategy like Jin. This will create within you a steadfast spirit of the ghost. Rule number two, fight with honor, resolve, and courage. The word samurai originally meant one who serves. The samurai were knights who defended and fought for their lords at a time when useful farming land was scarce and in need of protection. They believed in duty and gave themselves completely to their masters. Long ago, chaos ruled this island. It was the samurai who brought order and unified all of Sushi. We must show our people Honorable samurai still fight for this land. The samurai believed that only after transcending all fear could they obtain peace of mind and yield the power to serve their masters faithfully and loyally, even in the face of death. The word is the definition of strength, selflessness, bravery, loyalty, and honor. For generations, our families have lived by a code. Tell me the virtues that guide us. Loyalty to our Lord, control of our emotions, and... You know this. Honor, to fight bravely and uphold the legacy of Clan Sakai. In Miyamoto Musashi's Dokodo, The Way of Walking Alone, one of his precepts wrote, You may abandon your own body, but you must preserve your honor. The sense of honor, a vivid consciousness of personal dignity and worth, characterized the samurai. Raised as a samurai, Jin's character also embodies the noble qualities bestowed on a samurai. A samurai must always fight with patience and discipline, even when his opponent resorts to trickery. I remember, uncle. He was born and bred to value the duties and privileges of his profession. Fear of disgrace hung like a katana over his head. I promised my uncle I'd never break our code. Then bend it to save my family and what's left of yours. Throughout Jin's journey, Jin is shown to treat fellow villagers in Tsushima and companions with respect, sworn to protect the safety of others. To Jin, as a samurai, honor means protecting people, the ones that can't fight for themselves. 
He is humble and soft-spoken, but he has a strong sense of dignity and demands respect. Due to his status as a samurai, Jin recognizes his obligations to Clan Sakai. He is resolved to drive the Mongols out of Tsushima Island, doing whatever it takes, and have the courage to do what is right. Even the odds seems overwhelmingly small. I don't see how we can make it to the river. We'll find a way. Jin traversed the thousand mile road of retaking Tsushima one step at a time. He's patient and persistent, knowing that this is the warrior's calling. Jin respects the samurai code, but isn't a slave to it. And you are a slave to it. He follows the direct path, the soul of combat. He commits with single minded resolve to follow through to his goal and attack without deviating. Jin always keeps his promises. When he gives his word, he means it and obligates himself to ensure his help will be offered. But then I'll need your help. You have it. A warrior doesn't give his word lightly. Because to a samurai, his word is gold. This code of honor, resolve, and courage are crucial to warriorship. However, this doesn't mean that all warriors are saints. The truth is, we're both survivors. We have darkness in us. If we didn't, we'd be dead. As everyday warriors in life, we all fail to meet obligations and have fallen into temptations. We often feel shame for failing to meet our goals. But just because we have been dishonorable and fearful in the past, doesn't mean we should give up our quest to be honorable and courageous in the present and future. That was my old life. Seek victory today over the self of yesterday. Tomorrow, conquer your weakness and build your strength. That's the past. What you become tomorrow is your choice. Fighting to be the best self is an ongoing battle, just like Jin's constant training in his many ghost stances. Following the warrior's code allows us to become stronger and more disciplined, freeing ourselves from being enslaved to the chains of addictions, regaining precious energy and willpower to win, to become righteous in those battles we choose to fight, like Jin. The appreciation of the way allows us to overcome our egos and only end the combat for reasons honorable and justifiable to our own moral code. It's never easy, Jin. I struggle with it every day. But we must set an example for our people by remaining true to our code and to ourselves. That is the meaning of honor. Rule number three, master your emotions, do not fear death. I just finished leading them in meditation. Samurai, the people of Yarikawa, every spirit needs a moment of quiet before battle to accept the impermanence of life and the possibility of death. Wise words. Will you meditate with me? It would be my honor. Throughout Ghost of Tsushima, Jin seems to be rather stoic, reserved, calm, and fearless. Having been taught to master his emotions, Jin rarely gives into anger or raises his voice. Teach him that samurai never acts out of anger or fear, and take his life with honor. When we fight, we face our enemy head on. When we take their life, we look them in the eye with courage and respect. This is what makes us samurai. He's highly patient and able to bear the unbearable. You see, there is no weapon, no warrior you cannot overcome. Thank you for these lessons, uncle. Legendary Japanese sword saint Miyamoto Musashi would definitely agree that Jin is an expert warrior, emanating calm and fearlessness. In the classic warrior text, The Book of the Five Rings, Musashi wrote, With regards to mindset as you engage in a contest, be calmer than normal and try to see into your opponent's mind. The enemy whose voice becomes higher in pitch, eyes widen, 
face reddens, muscles bulge, and face grimaces, is basically incompetent and will clumsily hit through to the ground when faced with an adversary such as this. Maintain serenity of mind and observe his face dispassionately so as not to provoke him. Then, taking hold of your sword, smile and assume a position lower than the upper stance. Coolly evade his blow as he tries to attack you. When the enemy appears somewhat bewildered by your unusual attitude, this is the time to strike. Jin also shares the same cool mindset in battle. Breathe, Norio. You can't fight if you hold your breath. Clearly, being able to stay calm and collected while handling his katana and mastering one's emotions is the key to be a competent warrior. To master your blade, you must first control your emotions. I can do that, uncle. As Jin's legend grows in the island of Tsushima, reputable swordsmen and ronins across the island challenged him to a duel. He would gracefully accept the challenge and face the enemy without fear, knowing every contest is an opportunity to prove his skills, accumulating actual life or death combat experience. He seeks victory at all costs and never gives the initiative to his enemies, as the alternative is death. He pursued relentlessly as he sensed cracks in their cadence on the verge of collapse of his fall. Jin would charge straight at the enemy with unwavering resolve, letting his power surge through him to deliver the deadly blow. Victory is won by warriors, not weapons. But Jin was only human, and he confessed he would still feel fear and lose his cool at times. Are you scared? No. Not really. A little. Yuna's never afraid. You're probably like that too. I know it doesn't seem like it, but we're all afraid sometimes. Even Yuna. Even you? Yes. When the Mongols took my uncle, I was afraid I'd lose the only family I've left. That's how your sister feels about you. Without her, I'd be dead. So would I. One thing that Jin and Yuna weren't afraid of is death. Do not fear death, Kotaro. Live with courage, and never forget the people you fight to protect. Because they were fighting for a single-minded purpose, liberating Tsushima was the righteous thing, the only thing left to do. There's no reason to leave anymore. Nowhere to go. Nothing to do. Except stay. And fight. There was no turning back. Desperate warriors fight as if their lives were at stake. They could fight like a demon on death ground with triple the intensity. Jin didn't fear death because the legacy of the ghost will always live on. In Yamamoto's Hagakure, the book of the samurai, he wrote, The way of the samurai is found in death. Yamamoto continues by advising to set one's heart white every morning and evening, to live as though your body is already dead, in order to gain the freedom in the way, and thus succeed in your calling. Like everyone else, we want to learn the way to win, but never to accept the way to lose. To accept defeat, to learn to die, is to be liberated from it. Once we accept the impermanence of life, the inevitability of death, we are free to flow. Fluidity is the way to an empty mind. You must free your ambitious mind and learn the art of dying. Just move forward every day with sincerity and do each task as if it were your last, to the best of your ability. Following this way, we can live with no regret, even in the face of death. I sacrificed everything for my people. And I would do it again. New samurai are coming to replace those we lost. They will occupy your land and estate. I have to say goodbye to my home. Ride with me. Rule number four. Acquaint yourself with all arts and wisdom.
Jin was fortunate to be raised as the lord of Clan Sakai and lived a life of luxury and comfort in Omi village. He was well taken care of by his maid Yuriko and never had to worry about physical or material needs and was provided all the things he wanted as a boy. During his youth, Jin had the luxury of leisure and wealth to devote himself to cultivating his artistic expression. Apart from his rigorous training in the martial arts, he started studying Zen meditation, Sun Tzu's Art of War, composing haiku, a short form Japanese poetry, learning to play the flute, gaining perspective while reflecting in hot springs, appreciating Kamakura style architecture, and even cultivating his empathy through connecting with various spirit animals. He had opportunities to pursue many arts with distinguished artists and sensei, such as Sensei Ishikawa. Victory is won by warriors, not weapons. As an ultra perfectionist, Jin realized how the fairies' arts had much in common in terms of the search for perfection. He came to understand that the many arts and occupations were ways in their own right, by no means inferior to the way of the warrior. An archer's aim relies not on eyes, but on body, mind, and spirit. Jin's character struck the perfect balance between yin and yang. He embodies an undertone of both masculine and feminine qualities. He might have an exterior of a tough warrior, but hidden inside his hard armor is a soft, expressive, and deeply sentimental heart. Sometimes our only choice is to walk away from everything we know. I will miss this. So will I. Jin has repressed his emotions while bearing a heavy load of responsibility for the people of Tsushima, wearing the mask of an honorable samurai. War has changed Jin from a spoiled young Lord Sakai, who received everything from his family, to the ghost, who put others' interests first and foremost, while giving all he has to fight. War brings out the best of him, who he truly was. I'm not the same man I was the night before Kumoda. He showed a sign of feminine altruism that could have inherited from his mother after she died from an illness. However, by constantly pushing down and repressing his emotions, Jin accumulated a lot of psychological pain that causes him to be too hard on himself. He could become his own worst enemy. I failed my uncle. At least you're in one piece. I swore to protect this island with my life. But now the Mongols have stolen our home, killed our samurai. You forgot what it's like to fight someone stronger than you. To feel weak. Sometimes when you're staring death in the face, you have to do whatever it takes to survive. He blames himself for failing to save his father from his killer while witnessing the tragedy when he was a helpless teenage boy. This traumatic experience led him to extreme mood swings, haunting flashbacks and obsessive ruminations whenever he's idling or in isolation. The destructive voice in his head manifested as the ego wants to make him weak. Kazumas have doubted you and you proved him right. What kind of samurai watches his father die? Jin was constantly prone to negative emotions like guilt, shame, depression, doubt, and fear, just like any normal person. But he tamped them down with his mental toughness. I truly believe it was Jin's knowledge and love of the arts and wisdom that saved him from insanity and prevented his mental health from collapsing. Instead of channeling his darkness into violence, he could choose to express his pain and sorrow to clean his psyche through sand meditation playing flute music, composing haikus, and healing reflections. Light for my father. His grave close, his soul distant. This old tree lives on. This gave him a certain sense of relief and self-therapy. We could also apply Jin's way of self-help to our everyday mental health. One of Musashi's precepts in Dokodo writes, Respect Buddha and the gods without counting on their help. Jin would agree with this precept as well. He deeply respects the Buddha, but only count on his self 
reliance. I convinced them nobody can save us but ourselves. That's true. There was a saying, God helps them who help themselves. By acquainting himself with all arts and wisdom, Jin discovered the way of the warrior applies universally in the pursuit of the way of the ghost. He also found a way within every art. Jin's central wisdom is to know 10,000 things from knowing one thing. The statue's final lesson. Save what we can, but know that everything passes away. It's a worse statue when it's broken, but a better teacher. <laughs> Musashi wrote, It is crucial to enrich your mind and wisdom. By enhancing your wisdom, you'll be able to sense what is reasonable and unreasonable in the world and will learn the difference between good and evil. You can then see commonality in ways of different art and won't be open to deception. This is when one can be said to possess the wisdom of strategy in one's heart. With your spirit attuned to the way, you will triumph over the enemy with your mind. Having come so far, how can you be beaten by anyone? We came this far. We're not turning back now. You are all the bravest warriors I've ever known. I hope to see you again. Rule number five. Think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. We saved your town. Now we help Lord Shimura save our island. We are not soldiers. Who killed these Mongols? Who stood against the siege? Who saved Yarikawa? We did! You can't just stay here and wait for the Mongols to try again! You say you are not soldiers. You are warriors. We can defeat the invaders and save our home. But only if we stand together. Jin is a truly inspiring samurai leader. He forged his own path during desperate times in war and became the infamous ghost everyone in Tsushima looks up to for guidance. To come continue down this path. The whole of Tsushima looks to us for guidance. We must save our home together. A samurai. You inspire everything he does. He always talks about what he learned from the ghost. He is generous in his words and actions. He understood what his people needed most in the fog of war was a word of encouragement, a boost in their morale and confidence, and a leader who leads by brave action. Where do we hide now? You don't. Fire up your forge and get back to making strong Komatsu weapons. That's how we fight back. That's how we'll save Lord Shimura. Jin's character embodies the virtues of Bushido. He makes decisions in accordance with reason and justice, without wavering, willing to die when to die is right, to strike when to strike is right. Jin has a complex personality with multiple sides. He could be a ruthless ghost to his enemies, but he's also polite and sympathetic to the inhabitants of Tsushima, and always shows his gratitude and appreciation to those who help him. Thank you, you know, for everything. I hope you find peace. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Don't get sentimental, that guy. The ghost possess the power to command and the power to kill, but the ghost shows equally extraordinary powers of benevolence and mercy. 
Jin has a compassionate heart by nature and is soft-spoken with his humble words. Even to common peasants, he treats them with the utmost respect and often bows to his enemies and sends his good wishes for their next life after defeating them. I hope you find true honor in your next life. He knows when to encourage by giving his friends affirmation. I'm not ready. You can do this, Taka. Just take your fear. Use it. Yes, my lord. I used to know what my new life would be. Now I'm not even sure who I am. You're a great warrior. Know your friend. And a thief. That's the past. What you become tomorrow is your choice. As well as when to give friends a moment of peace to themselves. Jin is a charismatic leader, as seen when he rallies the people of Yalikawa. Despite Yalikawa's despise of Shimura, Jin still manages to get their respect, not out of fear and status, but out of compassion and empathy. While the leader of the enemy, Koten Khan, fought with a selfish desire to dominate and conquer through fear and violence, to create a mighty legacy that outshined the shadow of his prominent ancestor, Kublai Khan. I too have pride in family. And I know what it's like to live in their shadow. Why should we settle for scraps when we deserve to be legends? Jin fights only for justice and peace of the people in Tsushima. He's willing to let go of his personal desire, comfort and luxury, rigid samurai tradition, and even feelings of love towards Yuna. I can't lose you, Jin. After everything we've been through, everyone we've lost, I can't. I have to stop the con. No, you don't. You could find a boat. Sail somewhere quiet while your uncle fights his samurai war. You really want that? No. If I fall, promise me you'll keep fighting. You're a real bastard, Jin Sakai. Jin lived as a stoic. He needs very little to survive. He understood money blocks the ghost path to Nirvana. I like your new home. It suits you. It will have to do. The temple is filled with treasures. It provokes greed and envy. Jin chose to be detached in a relationship with his loved ones by walking his own path. I hope we can meet again. If not as father and son, then as warriors who have walked different paths. Whatever you believe I've become, I will always be your family. The ghost thinks lightly of himself and deeply of Tsushima. He promised to remain the good man inherent in his true nature. The legend of the ghost illuminates Tsushima and gives people hope. We will relight the flame, show the Khan we're coming for him, and give our people hope. We must find our lighthouses and rekindle every last one. The Buddha once said, thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Like a candle, our purpose is to burn ourselves completely without leaving any trace. That means to do each necessary task fully in each moment. Get rid of presumptions and start anew, as if doing everything for the first time. You may believe that you are practicing your discipline diligently and are on the right path, but you will deviate from the true way if your mind wanders. It is hard to stay in the way, but if we put effort, we might be closer to our mark. Yamamoto Chunatomo wrote in the book of the samurai, people think that they can clear up profound matters if they consider deeply, but they exercise perverse thoughts and come to no good because they do their reflecting with only self-interest at the center. If one thinks selflessly, surprising wisdom will occur regardless of high or low points of one's nature. Selflessness and benevolence towards the world surpass might and force when our actions revolve around the service to others and the possibility of our own death. We realize our own smallness and insignificance. We aim at the greater good. This allows us to think lightly of ourselves and more deeply of the world. As human beings, all we can do in our short time we have is to try to grow as a complete individual and leave this world a little better than it was when we got here. A samurai is essentially a man of action, like Jin. We need to keep expanding our horizon to find our true calling. We need more warriors like you following us into battle. We may have trouble finding them. 
unless you broaden your horizons. No matter how much wisdom or inspiring words we learned from the ghost, if they are not put into the test of everyday battles of our lives, we are only teasing ourselves with the fantasy of staying as a video game warrior instead of working to become a true warrior. That's why we must keep having faith in what we believe in. Never give up. Let go of the heavy burden of past regret and move forward towards our calling with relentless action. You don't get to give up. We all have regrets and broken promises. But this island needs you. The last warrior monk of Cedar Temple. I can't go back to what I was before this. I'm not asking you to go back. I'm asking you to keep your faith and move forward. Thank you, Jin. Now is the time to put the way into practice each hour of every day without losing focus. Character building is the most important part of the warrior path, not just physical training. As Musashi wrote, 1,000 days of training to forge, 10,000 days of training to refine. The head may take a lifetime, but I will walk it with you always. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned a few warrior principles from Jin Sakai. Comment down below which one of Jin's Wu impacted you the most and feel free to share your own Wu that applies to your life situation that I might have missed. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you like more of this video. See you in the next video.